What's up guys, Higgins in Japan here with another edition of the Friday video. The Friday video is a video that I make right here in my car on the way to work on Friday. Wait, none of that is true. I'm a liar. We're not in Japan. Nope, we're not. We're not in Japan anymore, Dorothy. Anyways, I'm here in America and you will be watching this at some point in the future. Well, I will be back in Japan. But because someone requested it, we're going to do it again this year. Yep. This year is another Friday video with me and my sister. Yay! Yay. I'm driving this time. And she's driving this time. So I have to pay attention to the road. And uh, hopefully she does pay attention to the road because I would like to upload this video at some point in the future. And it's snowing. And it's snowing. Um, hopefully you can see that. Um, so I wanted to do another video while I was here back in the States for Christmas. And hopefully you thought of some questions that you wanted to ask me about my life in Japan. So without further ado, questions. Um, okay, so we're going to eat breakfast, American breakfast, America. which means tater tots mm. and eggs mm -hmm. and some sort of meat product. Bacon. Bacon mm -hmm. or sausage. What is your what is a typical Japanese breakfast? I don't know because I don't eat Japanese breakfast. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, like normal people that eat breakfast, what do they eat in Japan? What's, uh, what's so a typical Japanese? The typical Japanese breakfast would be um, usually like when I ask my students what they had for breakfast, it's usually like rice and really yep rice for breakfast. That's my brother-in-law. Howdy. Um, uh, rice and like sometimes miso soup or some miso kind of soup, soup. and like a, maybe like fish or something. Sometimes it's just rice, uh, but some students do like you know have cereal or toast. Um, do they have breakfast at school? Like here, if you can eat breakfast at school? Not at my school. Okay. Um, I don't know of any schools that do, but um, yeah. Is it? Okay, so like Americans, it's a thing to like. Let's go out for brunch. Mm -hmm. Do you got? Do you have that in Japan? Like, brunch? is it a thing to go out for brunch? Um, where am I going? I don't know where you're going. Um, <coughs> I don't know. Like, but you but you have rice, so you wouldn't have like eggs and sausage. And yeah, it eggs. depends. Like, I've stayed at like hotels that will have like breakfast in the morning and they will have like western style breakfast and it'll be like a soft boiled egg and some ham and some toast and then they'll have like the Japanese style breakfast which is usually like fish and rice so but that's been a long time since I've actually stayed at a hotel hotel like that yeah hmm. okay interesting and what would you drink for breakfast or mm, juice juice or milk or probably tea like hot tea, like hot green tea. Okay. Cool. Um, you're gonna edit this, right? Nope. I don't edit anything out. Do you really not? Nope. Not for Friday videos. Friday videos like are meant to be more like free form, just like natural, like not edited. Yeah. A conversation between myself and the camera and those that are watching at home. Well, that might be boring today because I can't think of anything else to ask you. <laughs> Let's see. Um, do I want to go straight? I didn't drink enough last night for this to be funny. <laughs> what, what about differences between Christmas and New Year's in America versus Japan? So, I think the main difference is, like, the way they're celebrated. Like, usually, like, Christmas is not really, like, the same, like, hey, let's get together and open presents and, like, because some families don't really even celebrate Christmas. Christmas is still more of, like, a Western holiday. But, like, you see, like, businesses, you know, decorate and, like, put up Christmas trees Although I have seen Christmas trees in October that had pumpkins on them. So, you know. 
there's have that. Crazy people there, just like we have crazy people. Yeah. Like we have Easter. Some people have Easter trees. Right. <laughs> with yeah. Eggs on them. Yeah, I've I've definitely seen Halloween trees. Um, New Year's is also like a time when they have like big sales and like you can get you can go to like they have like blind bag sales where you pay like you say 50 bucks and inside the bag like if it's an electronic store you'll get like a laptop and some other stuff like you're guaranteed to get something but like it's all random so you don't ever know what you're actually going to get um, a grab bag. like a grab bag type thing yeah they do that a lot and it's kind of like a way for them to get rid of like last year's inventory <laughs> so like clothing stores will do it a lot where it's like hey pay you know 50 100 bucks and you'll get a bag full of clothes um and it's just kind of them just trying to get rid of like last year's style um new year's also people make their like yearly trek to like their local temple or oh, shrine stop for a second i just saw on um facebook that that seacoast store in the mall is going out of business Suncoast? Suncoast. Yeah. And everything is like 50 to 75 percent off. Okay, continue New Year's. Anyways, <laughs> this video is brought to you by Suncoast. <laughs> they spent all of the money that they had <laughs> advertising <laughs> and now they're out of business. And now they're out of business. Um, but yeah, New Year's is when like people make the annual trek to like their local temple or shrine. Um, and like they go and they're like the priest will like, you know, give blessings for like the new year and prosperity and health and like all that kind of stuff so do you guys talk about new year's resolutions like we do like does everybody is it a big deal to make a new year's resolution or something you're gonna do new year new me baby yeah, yeah. um no i've never heard anybody talk about it you should start that i <laughs> say it's my original idea yeah all right japan here's the thing <laughs> i had an idea i had an idea <laughs> Grand idea. We're gonna cut across here just so you know. It's a house for sale, three bedrooms. Wow. So, there you guys go. It looks, it looks small for three bedrooms. Uh, okay, what about. Um, is food a big deal? At New Year's like it is here? Like um, a party? I would say Christmas is like the big year or the big time of the year for that kind of stuff. Like KFC has a big push for like um, like getting Christmas chicken. Wait, you have a KFC? Yeah. Oh. Like Christmas time is their big like you have to order like maybe like a month or two in advance and you can order like special chickens. Like they have like rotisserie chicken, special, special chickens. Chicken. <laughs> they have like rotisserie chicken or like different like ways that they're cooked or flavored or like you know like different seasoning types um and you have to order those in advance and they're usually way more expensive than what they really should be but I yeah i really am going a weird way yeah here. i don't know where we're at like, oh no wait i know where we're at there's a mexican restaurant that's a good that's good El Serrano mm -hmm. yeah um, and then also Christmas cake is a big thing Christmas cake is that with the baby in it oh no that's a king, <laughs> king cake <laughs> that's, that's a cake. that's a yeah that's a New Orleans, <laughs> New Orleans. <laughs> um, Christmas cake is usually just like a white cake with like strawberries on it it's like a short cake type like cake. angel food cake mm, not really angel food but like like a short cake cake um, but yeah, that's like the big thing is like you get a Christmas cake and again, they're small and they're like super expensive. Um, and you have to order those like months in advance too. Huh. Um, I mean you can pick one up at like the grocery store, but like if you want like a really a real good one. Christmas cake, yeah. you order it like, like 7-Eleven I think started promoting their Christmas cakes at maybe the beginning of November or the end of 7-Eleven has Christmas cakes. Yeah. 7-Eleven is not like the 7-Eleven here. Okay. Like, I eat at 7-Eleven on a regular basis. Okay. Like, you can get sandwiches and bentos and 
like all kinds of stuff like hot food they have like a display case at the front of the store that's got like all like fried chicken and like different stuff like egg rolls and um america dogs they call corn dogs america dogs <laughs> um still a mystery to that's me funny. as to why they're called america dogs but um but yeah they have a, they have a lot better food here or uh, at 7-Eleven than they do here. Probably like an Eskimo. <laughs> As opposed to a microwave burrito. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, they still have like the microwave. Like you can get like they're kind of like hot pockets, like but in like a tortilla type thing. Um, and they get like ham and cheese inside of a tortilla, and they'll microwave that for you. And some of their like burgers, they'll microwave and stuff like that. But yeah, like it's really good food. Like, all the convenience stores in Japan have tons of food that you can, can just go in. Slurpees? Is that what 7-Eleven has? Slurpees? Slurpees? No. Okay. The only place that I've seen a 7-Eleven that had a Slurpee machine was in Harajuku. And I don't know why they had it, other than the fact that, like, it was probably just a gimmick of, like, hey, we have this. Come drink this. Is Harajuku a town? It's a district of Tokyo. It's, like, okay. the fashion district of Tokyo. I thought that was, like... Gwen Stefani's fashion line. Oh, it might be. But she just stole it from the name of that town. Um, so, the battery on the forward-facing camera is in the red. So, any other questions? Um, so, so we can wrap this up. No, I feel like this was, this does not match the quality of last year's video. That's alright. Um, My, my my YouTube channel just decreases in quality as the years go by. Okay. So and your listeners understand. Yeah, no, they've watchers, come to watchers. they have come to be expected. Come to expect disappointment That's in everything good. that I do. That's really good. If you set your standards really low, mm -hmm. then you'll never be disappointed. No, nope. no, nope. That's very true. And that, kids, is a New Year's resolution for you. Yes, set your standards. Set your standards super low this year. All right. Okay. Well, that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, if you have any questions or comments, head over to Facebook.com slash Higgins in Japan. You can leave me messages there. You can leave a message at the bottom of this video if you like. And I will catch you guys later. Have a good one. Peace. Bye.